hey guys welcome or welcome back so as you can tell from the title today i'm doing my review first impression and i'm gonna try to have this on for as long as i can so i could also do a wear test of the new morphe foundation i went to my local Ulta to pick this up this is the foundation right here and it says it's the filter effect soft focus foundation it's medium to full coverage it says this long wearing oil free natural finish foundation hydrates skin blurs and perfections for the ultimate soft focus look infused with hyaluronic acid a skin smoothing moisture booster vitamin e a powerful antioxidant glycerin a hydrator for a healthy looking glow so this is the foundation right here i did get shade rich 30 and if you didn't know um shayla is the face of this foundation and danessa myrick is the creative director as well so i was really excited to try this actually another person that worked there and she told me rich 30 she was just looking at me and i was looking at her and i was like can i get your opinion she's like of course so then um she told me rich 30 and I was thinking Rich 30 as well, but I didn't want to like tell her I was thinking Rich 30. I wanted to get her opinion of which one she thought would look better on me. And then she asked somebody else that worked there as well. Both of them said Rich 30 and I also thought Rich 30 looked better on me because Rich 28 was too golden. So I went with Rich 30. So hopefully this worked because the last foundation um, they kind of matched me with, which was one of my MAC foundation. I could make it work, but it's not my absolute shade. So I got Rich 30, and let me open this up. So this is the foundation. I love the packaging. I love the slick matte look. It looks so bomb. And this is $20 at Ulta. And this one is 0.94 fluid ounce. And you also get a free brush. I don't know how long that promotion is for, but as of now, if you order this um, at Ulta, you do get a free brush with it. Okay, so this is how the brush look like. It is a really nice brush. I love the way it's like fat right here and I think it's gonna apply the foundation pretty good and it was free 99 so can you really complain and I do like Morphe brushes I do have a lot of their brushes eyeshadow brushes um, just regular makeup brushes so you know I'm glad that they did include this brush with the foundation so I am going to apply the foundation with it. Um, I mean, if I didn't apply with this brush, I was going to apply with another one of my Morphe brushes. So, you know, so let's see how it is. Okay, so I'm only going to do one pump. I didn't want to watch a lot of reviews, but I did look at some reviews. And all the um, people that I saw try this on, they did like it. So, you know, I can't wait to see how I feel about it as well. So let's see how it is. So I'm getting closer. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, you do know that I have um, acne marks on my face. And again, I only apply one pump. And I think it covered, it covered them um, pretty good. I can still see some, but it covers them pretty good. I'm gonna apply a second pump. Ooh, I didn't even, I was not even looking to see if this is my shade. I was so focused on trying to see if it's covering my acne marks, but I think this is my shade. From what I could see, it looks like it's blending pretty good. I mean, I could still see some right here, but from what I could see, it looks like it's blending in pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a second pump. And I like this foundation brush so far. Okay, it does have a smell. Um, it's not like a bad smell where like you can't take it, but I do notice that it has a smell. It smells like some of my Maybelline foundations. I know I've smelled this type of foundation smell before. And from what I could think of, I feel like it smells like one of my, or one or like a majority of my Maybelline foundations. I do see it looks like skin so I am wondering how it's going to you know lay on my face like after a couple of hours because I do have oily skin 
so we'll see and I don't feel like I have anything on so that's good as well I don't feel like I have nothing on my face I do see in my opinion I could see like it looks kind of glowy but I did also go with the hydrating primer yeah it's raining outside I was like going to see if I could do like a wear test outside somewhat to show you guys how it looks with like natural lighting but I don't know if you guys could hear it but it's pouring so I'm gonna go with another pump on this side now so let me just show you guys if you didn't see the other side of my face so this is um, how my face is looking like I have like a little um I think this was like an acne mark or acne and it's going down but my skin usually when I get acne they do leave marks so yeah so let's see you know how it lays and how it covers okay so this is how one layer is looking like it looks really dewy to me which I don't mind um my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation look the same way when I when I do apply it on and I do have some of the Maybelline radiant glow or dream radiant foundation which looks like this as well when I apply it and you know after I apply my powders and whatever it'll get matte but yeah so far it's definitely looking really radiant as if like you just applied like a good amount of um moisturizers on that's what i'm getting so i'm gonna apply a second layer and then let me just cover my little um beauty mark Okay, I don't know if you guys could see, you might not be able to see with my lightings, but right here on my cheeks, like earlier when I was um, applying the foundation before I covered my face, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that I did have, you know, some acne marks right here. I could still see them, like right here, like where the brush is. I could still see them. I don't think you guys are able to see them, but I can, and I could still see my beauty mark like right here um yeah and i've applied two pumps on both sides of my face so all together four pumps so i'm gonna apply um i'm gonna apply one more okay so so far what i'm getting from this foundation um in my opinion this foundation is for the ladies that like to look natural and skin like the ladies that don't like to look like they have makeup on and i like to look like i have makeup on like i don't mind a skin like foundation i do have some my abh as i mentioned some of my Maybelline foundations are like that. I have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh, I believe the name is. It's like clear and pink. I really, really like that foundation. And from what I could remember, I think that one is the same as well. Um, the Fenty Hydrating Foundation, I think. So this is what, you know, this is the type of foundation that I'm seeing. It's like a very skin-like. I do see the glow um i've already applied five pumps on my face two on each side and then the last one i just went all over i could still see my um acne marks which i don't mind you know i don't mind um people being able to see my imperfections because i don't wear makeup every single day so i don't mind these type of foundations but my preference is to look matte i like to look like i have makeup on um you know i don't i don't mind that i know some people don't like looking like they have tons of makeup on they don't like to look cake face or whatever but i don't mind looking like that so um it's not bad but i could definitely see you know um my imperfections I could definitely still see my 
acne marks like up here my beauty mark some of my acne marks over here um yeah and i don't know how i feel about this shade the more i look at it i don't know because it does match with my face because again my face is darker than my chest and whatnot but as i've mentioned in prior videos i usually match my foundation with my chest and i think me and the ladies did not do a good job i feel as if maybe i should have went with rich 28 because it doesn't really match with my chest but again you know you can't really try nothing on at the stores as of now for obvious reasons um and rich 28 did look super super golden when i did put it by my chest and by my hands it looked like it was so like golden and yellow and i assume i was more um like neutral golden neutral but maybe i should have went with rich 28 instead but i mean i'm going to go ahead and apply everything else on to balance it out but so far this is how my face is looking like with just the foundation on it so i will be back with my face done and everything that i'm gonna be using will be listed down below okay you guys so i am back and this is how my face is looking like So this is how my face is looking like after everything is done. And I'm gonna go off topic real quick. Now I wanna address my hair. My hair is looking a hot mess, okay? I want y'all to try your best to ignore it. Um, after I took off my locks, I wanted to do like a perm rod set and I was gonna record it. I'm glad I didn't, y'all, because I don't know what she's doing. She's like, this is what I'm giving you. And I am the definition of a lazy natural, so I was not about to redo it because it took me a minute, okay? And I don't really have bangs. I kind of just um, took some bobby pins and bobby pinned the front right here because I don't really like hair in my face and also it would break me out. So this is what she's giving. Um, today's Saturday. I did this Thursday night. Um, and yeah, I don't know. But I mean, I'm going to keep practicing but this was definitely a fail. This was like my second time doing a perm rod set. The first time was when I went natural and now. So I'm going off a tangent, sorry about that. But yeah, so this is how my face is looking like and I must say after everything is done, I definitely like the foundation way more now than I did in the beginning. It does look nice after, you know, my powders and everything. But I don't know how it's going to last around my laugh lines. I do have deep laugh lines. I could see them as I'm talking. So again, as I mentioned earlier, I am going to try to wear this for as long as possible. So we'll see how, um, you know, it reacts around my laugh lines. Um, of course, the normal area like my T-zone, my forehead, um, my cheeks. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get oily around those um, areas, especially this being a hydrating foundation. If you watch my last review of the CoverGirl foundation, that one also stated that it was a hydrating foundation. But when I applied that foundation on, it wasn't as dewy and hydrating and radiant skin like as this foundation um, was earlier today when I applied it. So to me, that foundation was definitely a matte foundation and it lasts like really nice. I did not touch it at all. And around my smile line, it didn't crease. It didn't, you know, break or anything like that. So um, with this one also stating that it is a hydrating foundation, I definitely noticed that when I was applying it on my face. I mean, I did go with the hydrating primer as well, but I usually interchange my primers. So you know, it doesn't really, um, in my opinion, it doesn't really make a difference to me because sometimes I'll use a hydrogen um, primer, sometimes I'll use a matte primer, but I usually get oily, you know, no matter what. So I don't know if the primer had something to do with it, with it, but I don't think so. I just think it's just the foundation itself. So we'll see how long it lasts and if it has me looking crazy. But, you know, um, as I mentioned, I will come back and show you guys. I do like this brush. I do like it a lot. I don't think it soaked up a lot of the foundations or anything like that. And it didn't leave any streaks on my face or anything. It's very, very soft. Um, I usually apply my foundations with a brush anyways. Um, and if it leaves streaks or anything, I usually will go over it with a, um, what is this? Um, 
real technique sponge or anything or something like that so i do like this it didn't leave any streaks or anything on my face i'm definitely gonna use this with my other foundations as well so i'm just gonna wear this for a couple of more hours just to see how you know she reacts with my natural oils i did mention the price of this foundation being 20 dollars, so it's up to you if you think 20 dollars is worth the price it's not high end but it's also not drugstore it's like in the middle of both of those prices so it's up to you if you think 20 dollars is worth it for this foundation but you also do get a foundation brush with it and i think this brush is really really good i am definitely going to use it as i mentioned for my other foundations and um if i didn't mention the price already it is 16 dollars. i think it's retailing for so so again you know if you think it's worth um, $20 go ahead and purchase it and if you do have an account with Ulta you do get the coupon I think it's like $3.50 because at Ulta Morphe is not a high-end brand um, they're considered drugstore so you are able to use that coupon with their products and I do have a good amount of Morphe products and I do like their products so I'm gonna as I mentioned wear this a little bit more to see how it reacts with my natural oils and everything um but yeah so far i do like it earlier you know i was kind of like oh i don't know because i don't usually go for radiant glowy type of foundations i mean i do have some but like they're not my go-to type of foundation i do like how this foundation is looking like it looks nice on the face again as i mentioned earlier if you're somebody that don't like wearing a lot of makeup you want your face to be more skin like this is for you i started my makeup around 240 242 it's 419 as of now so i've had this on for a while now and as i mentioned earlier this is definitely for someone that like a skin like type of foundation you know they still want their skin to peek through uh, me you know I could do either or but I definitely prefer full coverage type of um, foundation and I believe this foundation did mention it's medium to full coverage it's definitely buildable I definitely would say it's medium because I could still see my um, birthmark right here on my nose um, uh, um, acne mark right here and before I did apply my highlighter and blush and whatnot I was able to see some of the acne marks that I have on this side of my face um, so I don't think it's full coverage in my opinion I think it's um, medium and I did try to build it up I did apply five pumps and I could still see what I mentioned um, just now so I mean it looked nice if you're somebody that like this type of finish if you're someone that you don't want your face to feel like you have a ton of foundation on this is for you because again as I mentioned earlier as well I don't feel like I have nothing on my face my face feel like there's nothing on it and I love that um, so I'm gonna as I mentioned wear it for a while and then I'll be back but before I go, let me just show you guys one more time how my face is looking like. Okay, so I'm outside. It did stop raining and I'm walking my dog and I wanted to show you guys how the foundation is looking like with just natural lighting. It looks nice on, very natural, very skin-like and natural. So I am back. I started around 240-242. It's 808 right now and I'm ready to just take this makeup off and take a nice shower. So as I did mention earlier, I knew that around my smile line was going to be the area that was going to, you know, be more shiny and more oily, which it is. You could definitely see around this area. Um, you could see it like right here. It looks like there's like a puddle of oil just sitting there. And also right here, the makeup kind of did separate right here. And then over here, just a tiny bit, not a lot, but I've had some other foundation, as I did mention also in the other video, that you literally will see my skin through it. So here, I could kind of see my skin through it from the separation, but it's not as bad as some other foundations. And of course, shiny around these areas. My nose is a little bit shiny. Um, my forehead is a little bit shiny as well. And I think you guys could see like, this thing right here as well as right here and it's like my highlighters um 
I think when I put like certain highlighters, it just like um, focus so much on the textures on my skin. So that's what these things are. I always forget to mention it on my videos, but just in case you notice it, that's what it is. It's just like when I apply my highlighters, it just, um, it just shows my textures more. I'm going to go ahead and blot. I didn't blot not once after I did my makeup. I walked my dog, did a couple of errands, ate. The lipstick kind of wore off a little bit, but I didn't touch my face not once because I wanted to see how I was going to react with my natural oils. And I think it looks really, really nice. I did look at myself couple of times in the bathroom light and it looked nice there too I did also look at myself outside and it looked nice too and even still now it still looked nice yes I am shiny around the areas I mentioned but it still looked nice and sometime when I'm out if I have makeup on I don't usually blot so you know to me this looks this still looks good This is how my face is looking like after going over it with the sponge. You could definitely see a difference. Again, this foundation is for $20 on Ulta as well as the Morphe website. If you are interested in this foundation, I would definitely say go ahead and try it out. I don't think that price is a bad price at all. But again, as I did mention earlier as well, it's up to you if you think you want to spend $20 on this foundation because it's not drugstore price, but it's also not um, high-end price either. It's definitely for the ladies that like more natural skin-like foundation foundation but I mean after I applied everything on my face I definitely liked it way more than when it was just the foundation alone on my face um, I'm definitely gonna get wear out of it but I know you know how to use it for me to like it so let me know what you guys think about this foundation let me know if you already purchased it or are you waiting um for it to come back in stock on Ulta because i know a lot of shades are out of stock right now and i believe february 16 is when you are going to be able to purchase it from morphe themselves so let me know your thought about this foundation um in the comments and yeah thank you so much you guys for coming back to my channel and watching another one of my videos you guys know i definitely appreciate it bye